Think a man yelling's agitation? That's his first amendment right to say whatever he wants. What's that? It's his first amendment right to say whatever he wants right, if he's in a wheelchair or not. Right in front of the police okay. cruiser too, so I was just letting in my supervisor know he was in What does your supervisor have to do with the police? Huh? What does your supervisor have to do with the police? Well, no. If he's agitated and we get a call later, it's just to let him know that he's in the area. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, that's why I didn't go up and contact him. Like, what are you doing, you know? You letting this guy be? He ain't well, bothering anyone. He's not supposed to be sitting there. He's a sitting lie ordinance. Actually, that, that, actually, that was uh, repealed dirt with the urban camping van. It really was. Yes, sir. Uh, Judge, Bar Judge Barajas, right before he retired, he he, he deemed the uh, urban camping ban unconstitutional per the Eighth Amendment because it says, you know, just because he's homeless, he can't sit down type shit. Right. So that that was repealed. Uh, right. Yeah, we have a so on, I, on site I heard street. something about um, yeah. that. Um, he's wearing a blue uh, and, and half black some t-shirt looking thing, and he's got a utility bill. Oh, yeah, and he's up to too many shenanigans. So, so many shenanigans. Get security here fast. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. But yeah, no, it was repealed. Now, if well, if he was if he, if he was if he was you know throwing shit around or whatever, right. I wouldn't even question that See, shit. You know what, what I mean? My supervisor told me was as long as he's sitting on the edge right there, then he's good. But if he's on the ground, well, not for nothing. And I'm not trying to well, you know. Only, uh, he told me it was only from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. That, that man. See. Well, let me ask you this, all right? Yeah. And I'm not trying to come at you in any no, negative I way or you. anything. I like your information. What, I'm actually going to look into it so I can be a better guard. What's the difference between him sitting four inches up and sitting four inches down? It's both public, correct? I agree with that. Although, I guess the curb could be argued as private. But well, uh, I guess it could be argued, yes. But, yeah. but in all essence, it would be what is behind the wall would be the, the private part. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's where they do you know you know what I'm saying, saying. but yeah, I do agree with that and, and I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job I just oh, I don't blame you but no if, if you're right the judge ordered it then that's it, it, I it, need to know it was Judge Barajas I will definitely look that up I can't remember the date of it but uh, it's Andy McNulty was the um, defending attorney I don't remember who the prosecution was but I believe it was repealed back in February okay it, I could be misquoting the date but um, that's I believe that's when I remember the judgment coming down. Okay. Well, I'll so. have to definitely look into that. Yeah. That way I know something new. What's your name? My name's Colin. Colin? I'm Kyle. A little sweaty hands. That's all right, man. You're working, dude. Yeah. It is what it is. Do I look nice. like I'm somebody worried about sweat? <laughs> well, well, nice to meet you, Kyle. Yeah, man. And, and it's refreshing to see somebody that um, in, in um, a uniform that wants to actually do Learn better. the law and, yeah, and do better. You know what I mean? Problems. Because I understand. Believe me, I I'm, hate I hate people so who are there that cause problems. Yeah, I understand you're out here for a reason. You yeah, know, um, you know, you got a job to do and stuff yeah. like that. But at the same time, I'm here people for have safety a, and security. Exactly. Man, you know, if you're not harming anyone, that's my thing. Is you know, if he was sitting, if he was sitting there waving a knife around, I'd be like, you get him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I get you. But I get you. Some people too, they're just a little slow in the head, and you can't, you know. Yeah. A lot of situations can be avoided just by giving them time to gather their things, gather themselves. Yeah, exactly. And, you know. Exactly. I mean, heck, I'm going to say what the policy with this company, but when I worked for the Colorado Convention Center, I used to carry a pack of cigarettes just off my people, you know, trying to make their day a little yeah, bit better. Yeah. So, that's why we come out here and we do this. Try to, you, you know, one day a week they got something to look forward to, you know. Okay. So. Uh, Colin, you said? Yes. You have a good day, man. Stay safe. You too. All right. Oh, you're the police. Let me see you. Let me see you.